Good morning, Upland High School. I'm Slex Samaro. And I'm Lauren Barnhart. Please stand as we lead you in the flag salute. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Come enjoy an evening of music and fun as the Upland High School Theater Department presents Best of Broadway 2018. Shows are April 27th and 28th at 7 p.m. in the Highlander Auditorium. Tickets are $8 pre-sale at the student store and $10 at the door. See Ms. Richardson in D138 for more details. Donate pre-loved clothing and shoes in the boxes in front of the Upland High School office st starting today and ending this Friday. Check out the final sale at the Upland High School cafeteria on Saturday, April 21st from 9 to 11 a.m. Men, women, boys, girls, and infant items. Everything is 25 cents, cash only. Are you interested in an awesome new course to take next year? If so, sign up and take the newly created elective class, American Studies, taught by Mr. Condino. This is the 8th through G elective course for all juniors and seniors. In this course, we will explore the United States through the culture, history, diversity, and global role. This course will explore many interesting American topics and events and how these events have shaped our culture and lives today. The prom will be held May 5th at the Phoenix Club in Anaheim. Remember, you must have a signed dance agreement to purchase tickets. Kimberly Munoz, Colin Yamada, and Justin Almquist hold their second place certificates after competing in the annual PLTW Chevron Design Challenge. The students are members of the Academy of Engineering and Architecture and are currently in Mr. Rook's Intro to Engineering Design class. The competition featured entries from 16 Southern California high schools and was held in El Camino College in Torrance, California. This year's design problem was to develop a portable storage unit that would be useful for a group on the high school campus. While the majority of schools designed robotic parts and storage units, the UHS team designed a portable multi-sport equipment unit. For their second place effort, they each received a $100 Amazon gift card as well as a chance to compete in the state finals to be held in Pleasanton, California. Congratulations. Get your tickets for the first annual staff versus Scott basketball game and watch your favorite teachers take the court against the girls varsity basketball team. Tickets can be purchased at the student store for $4. The game is May 17th at 5.30 p.m. Come watch teachers like Mr. Ingalls, Mr. Mira, Mrs. Tang, and Mr. McGee and many others as they attempt to take the ladies on the court. If you have any questions, see Coach Butler in room C113 or talk to any girls basketball player. If you're a musical group interested in performing at this year's Fusion Fest on May 11th, please see Mr. Murray in N253 or email him through School Loop. Here's a segment about a new class that will be featured here at Upland High School next year. In civil rights, we discuss and debate all kinds of controversial issues. For example, can the proctor search your car in the parking lot? Do you have freedom of speech rights at school? What do you think about the death penalty? Should marijuana be legalized? These are the types of controversial topics that we'll discuss and debate in class. So if you like to debate, if you like to talk about controversial issues, and if you just like to give your opinion, this is the class for you to take. I joined Civil Rights to learn more about the laws and politics that have been set place because I feel like joining government and economics doesn't really touch it enough. It, it talks on it a little bit, but it doesn't go as in-depth as Civil Rights does. And in here you get to learn more about what you can and can't do and more of uh, goes into more depth about the amendments. Something I've learned from civil rights is that um, California is actually one of the only few states that still have an electric chair. Um, it's not used because lethal injection is the only ethnic way that they can go, but they still have, if it is ruled uh, cruel and unusual punishment, they still can always go back to the electric chair. If you are interested in this class, contact your counselor either through email or in person to tell them you're interested in taking civil rights for next year. That's all for today's Student Bulletin. I'm Lauren Barnhart. And I'm Slex Rowe. Have, Have a Highlander Day. day.